the moon's shadow will cover Earth as it passes between us and the sun. And we are on your side this morning, taking a closer look at how this total solar eclipse actually works. All right, take a look. The sun is 400 times larger than the moon, and the sun is 400 times farther from us. That means that we see basically a perfect fit. But that sweet spot, the area where the total solar eclipse will be seen, is about 70 miles wide. A total eclipse will visit a given spot once every 375 years on average, but globally happen about every 18 months. So this is a big deal, folks. The first part of the U.S. to experience the total eclipse will be in Portland, Oregon. About an hour later, Hopkinsville, Kentucky gets its turn. It's the city that's now kind of turned into Eclipseville, and our Holden Krawicki is standing by live in Hopkinsville right now, where folks have been camping out all weekend. And uh, folks are, have already been up early talking to you, Holden. Oh, that's exactly right, Renee. You know, it's really hopping here in Hoptown. Yesterday, there was a nice little street festival, and overnight, this little tent city has really just kind of, you know, sprung up, and everybody is here trying to take in just a piece of this historic moment. For many people here, this will be a once-in-a-lifetime experience, but we met a guy who actually has a few of these under his belt. Today will mark Dan Gosser's seventh, yes, you heard that right, seventh solar eclipse. He witnessed the first one in 1991 in Mexico and has been collecting stamps for his passport ever since. He's traveled all over the world, but it's from Upton, Kentucky. He says he's over the moon, or rather in front of the sun for eclipse purposes, to see this event happen basically in his backyard. It is absolutely amazing. It is the most most amazing thing you'll see on earth. I mean, I've seen the Grand Canyon. I've been in 32 countries. It is, uh, there's nothing that compares. And uh, everyone that thinks that this is uh, a lot of trouble is really going to be loving it tomorrow. Dan is already planning for his next eclipse adventures. His best advice for all of us, make sure to capture the event, but also make sure to take some time just to sit back and take it all in, looking at it with your own two eyes and not just your camera or your cell phone. Of course, we know for many of you, that's just not possible. You know, as Juliana mentioned earlier, a lot of people still have to go to work. We've got you covered right here on WHAS 11. We'll be live in the noon show on Great Day Live, and we will have an eclipse special from 2 to 3 o'clock. We'll be out here live and, you know, covering all angles angles you know of this great American eclipse 